Hello dear students, once again I welcome you all in this online session of classes. So today we have to start our unit number 4 which is differential equations. So first of all let us study what do you mean by differential equations or what is the meaning, basic meaning of differential equations. See if you just first of all understand the differential equations that is it is some type of equation. Equations we have studied that. This is the way I mathematical expression which make our variables be on constants be on. What is the definition of equation? Just equation that is any mathematical expression or statement in the terms of variables as well as constants. Now, an equal to sign should also be there. That is only equation. Now, differential equation means any equation in which differential terms are present or any equation in the terms of differential terms okay? or in the in which differential terms are present that is known as differential equations let's study one example let us say dy by dx plus y is equal to sin x let us say this is an equation in which see what is this dy by dx that is differentiation of y with respect to x so this is a differential term so any equation in the terms of differential terms Chicken and which differential terms are present, that equation is known as differential equation. So you can write on this example in the example of differential equations. Now the next topic which comes in this chapter is order and degree of a differential equation. One differential equation will be given to you and order and degree may be asked that what is the degree and what is the order of that given differential equation. Now order means the highest order of the differentiation used in that equation. What is the order? Order is known as the highest order of differential term used in that particular differential equation. Let's take an example. d square by by dx square plus d4 by raised to power dx raised to power 4 is equal to 2. Let us say this is one differential equation. Okay. This is one differential equation. D square y by dx square means double differentiation of y. And what is the meaning of d4 by raised to power? Sorry, d4 by upon dx raised to power 4 means fourth power derivative of y. Okay. So d square y by dx square raised to power 3 plus d4 by raised to power dx raised to power upon dx raised to power 4 is equal to 3. So this is the differential equation. Okay. In the terms of y. So this is the differential equation. So the question is what is the order of this differential equation? Okay. If we just say this is second order derivative and this is fourth order derivative. This is second order derivative ki term hai aur ye fourth order derivative ki term hai. To highest order kaun sa hoga? Fourth order because fourth power derivative hai. So this differential equation ko order kya ho jayega? Order four. Order four. Okay. So its order is four. After that degree. अब जो आपने highest order देखा है अपने differential equation में उस highest order की जो power है the power of the highest order differential term ठीक है अब इस इस differential equation में एक double differentiation की term भी थी और एक fourth order derivative की term भी थी तो इस fourth order derivative की जो power है इसे सिर्फ यहाँ पे देखें double differentiation की जो term उसकी power क्या है three तो इसकी degree आप लोगों ने three नहीं लिखनी है highest order की derivative की term है d four by upon d six to power four उसकी power कितनी है one. So it's the degree will be one. This is the order and degree of a differential equation. Order and degree of a differential equation. Let us study one another example. D4. Okay. Let us spread it in this way. Y three plus y four. Sorry, y two raised to power seven plus y1 is equal to 0. Now since I have told you that differential terms can be represented in three ways either dy by dx or y1 or y dash. All these terms are represented as differential terms only. For example, if you want to denote double, differen double differential term, how you can denote that? You can denote like this. d square by dx square comma y2 comma y double dash. All these terms represent differential terms. So this y3 means third order derivative. y2 means second order derivative and y1 means single order derivative. So what is the order? See single order is there, double order is there, second order is there and third order is there. And third order is there. So what is the highest order? So 
उसकी पावर कितनी है फोर सो यू डिग्री फोर ओके हर समय डिग्री डिफाइंड हो ऐसा पॉसिबल नहीं है कुछ केसेस में डिग्री नॉट डिफाइंड भी होती है लेट एस एग्जांपल फॉर दैट लेट एस से दिस इज वन डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन डी वाई बाय पर लेट एस से डी स्क्वायर बाय बाय डी एक्स स्क्वायर रेस्ट टू पावर फोर प्लस साइन of dy by dx is equals to 1 now what is the highest order the single order derivative and second order derivative so second order is the highest order so order is 2 but now you may be thinking here that second order ke jo power hai wo 4 hai to degree 4 hone chahiye no it's not like that so it's why because ye jo differential terms hain ye independent terms honi chahiye matlab ye kabhi bhi sin cos tan cot sec cos ke jo trigonometric ratios hain inka angle nahi hona chahiye this dy by dx that is differential terms should not be present as the angle of the trigonometry functions secondly this should not be the power of exponential terms this is e raised to power y dash as any one on chahiye and third the log ke andar function nahi hona chahiye so maan lijiye log of dy by dx as a kind of term nahi hona chahiye so in three cases mein trigonometry ke and trigonometry functions ke angle exponential ki power or as the log ke andar the function hai theek hai इन टर्म्स में प्रेजेंट नहीं होना चाहिए ठीक है अगर ऐसा है जैसे साइन का एंगल क्या हो गया डी वाई बाई डेक्स ठीक है डिफरेंशियल टर्म साइन का एंगल है सो हेयर डिग्री विल बी नॉट डिफाइंड हेयर डिग्री विल बी नॉट डिफाइंड इन दिस केस ओके दिस इज द टॉपिक ऑर्डर एंड डिग्री ऑफ अ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चंस इज एक्सपेक्टेड इन द एग्जाम ऑफ द वैल्यूज ऑफ टू मार्क्स ठीक है टू मार्क्स में क्वेश्चन पूछ सकता है सकता ऑर्डर एंड डिग्री ऑफ अ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन जो लेंथी क्वेश्चन आएगा दैट इज द टू फाइंड द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ अ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन द मेन टॉपिक इज टू फाइंड आउट द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ अ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एंड फॉर दैट वी आर हैविंग थ्री मेथड्स थ्री वेरियस मेथड्स ठीक है फर्स्ट वन इज मेथड ऑफ सेपरेशन ऑफ वेरिएबल्स मेथड ऑफ सेपरेशन ऑफ वेरिएबल्स First one is method of separation of variables. See that the original syllabus it is mentioned equations in separable form. ठीक है means एक ऐसी equation जिसमें आप variables को separate कर सके. वो ही लिखा मैंने method of separation of variables. इसमें variables को क्या कर सके? Separate कर सके. Let's do one question. Question is find the general solution of the equation. Find the general solution of the given differential equation. of the given differential equation this one question can i find the general solution of the given differential equation d by dx is equals to 3 square plus 1 upon x okay ab this is question which in the exam mein aapke paas question aayega so it will not be written there that you have to use which method that which method you have to use you have to just see your question and identify that which method will be used so abhi to hum properly padh rahe hain ki first method hai to first method se apply hoga now let me tell you how you will identify What is the name of the method? Method of separation of variables or equations in se uh, separable form. So you have to see. See, two variables are used in your given differential equation. One is y and another is x. So main thing is you have to just separate the variables. Means left hand side y ke variables separate kar dijiye aur right hand side x ke and vice versa you can do on your own as you want. So separate all the variables of y on the left hand side and remaining the variables of x on the right hand side. See. This dy is already on the left hand side. You have to just cross multiply this dx. You can write down this. Dy is equals to 3x square plus 1 upon x into dx like this. Okay. Now you can see that variables are separated. Variables are separate, separated to so to find out the solution of the differential equation, you have to integrate both sides. How we used to find out the solution? Just integrating both sides. दोनों तरफ क्या कर लीजिए इंटीग्रेट कर दो सो इंटीग्रल ऑफ डी वाई इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रल ऑफ थ्री एक्स स्क्स वन ऑन एक्स इंटू जी एक्स 
Okay. Now see, what is the meaning of that integral of dy? That means you have to integrate one. कुछ नहीं है फंक्शन तो that is function is one you have to integrate one with respect to one. See, one के integration क्या पड़ी है उसमें सब लोगों ने x, but that was with respect to x. But now here we are integrating with respect to y. So integration of one with respect to y will be y by three. जिसके with respect integrate कर रहे हैं बस वो variable आ जाए. Now here you can just separate the variables. 3x square dx plus integral by half of x square dx. ठीक है? दोनों के साथ dx को हम लोगों ने क्या कर दिया? Bracket open कर दिया. So integration of 3x square will be 3 as it is x square की integration x cube by 3. What is the integration of half of x? That is log x plus c. You can just eliminate this 3. So your answer will be y is equal to x cube plus log x. Plus C. That is the required general solution of the given differential equation. That is y is equal to x cube plus log x plus c. Similarly, you can do one more question which is done this. Let us say the differential equation is x dy. This is same question, same question. Find the general solution of the given differential equation x dy by dx is equal to x cube minus 5x. This is the given differential equation of which we have to find out the general solution. Of which we have to find out the general solution. See, this is the differential equation. Now, we are studying the first method that is method of separation of variables in which we have to equation we have to just separate the variables separable form how you are going to separate them just don't cross multiply by dx first of all c first of all to eliminate this variable x just divide the whole equation by x or in another sense we can say you just cross multiply by this x x se kya kar cross multiply theek hai taki x back hand side aa jaye variable x cube minus 5x whole of x. ठीक है? अभी देखो क्या है? Now you can separate this denominator like this. x cube upon x minus 5x upon x. This step is known as converse of LCM. देखिए, अगर इस step के बाद सारे इस x बात हुई, अगर सिर्फ साथ यहाँ पे LCM देना चाहते तो next step आता है। तो this opposite of LCM is known as converse of LCM. So the thing will be x cube minus 5x and x will be eliminated. So dy by dx. Now dy by dx is enough. So dx so can be cross multiply. So here it will be written as dx. Now to find out the solution, what you have to do? You have to integrate both sides. So integrating both sides. Integrating both sides. Integration of one dy. Take a S and here. Integration dy. So kis ke integration term ni hai? One ki is equals to integral of x square minus 5 dx okay? so integration of 1 is y what is integration of x square that is x cube by 3 minus 5 now the question is 5 ki integration karne aap logo ne piche integration ke padha hai kya 5 ki integration karne hai to 5 integration ke bahar aja hai na to andar sirf kya bache ka 1 a 1 ki integration kya hai x plus c so this is a required answer y is equals to x cube plus x cube by 3 minus 5x plus c that is your required solution general solution of the given differential equation so this was our first method that method of equations in separable form equations which may separable was again second method is homogeneous differential equation third is linear differential equations okay so that we study in the next videos you can just practice some more questions of this topic from the book i have for you dr pk sharma remedial mathematics so thank you and have a nice day